Next up at UFC Jacksonville, we have Zalgaz Zumagulov with, I think, his third opponent in three weeks, taking on Joshua Van. Zalgaz Zumagulov, 14 and 8 overall, 1 and 4 in his last five. What? He said Zalgaz Zumagulov. I just did. It's like when. Um, it was when Joe Rogan was it was Khabib Nurmagomedov or something like that. He's like, hey, yeah, he's like Khabib. <laughs> but uh, he's fourteen and eight overall, only one and four in his last five. years riding a three fight skid. We have broken this guy down three times in three weeks. He was supposed to fight last week at UFC Vegas seventy five. Most recently, his opponent Jacob's Lock of the Week failed a drug test, so now he's on this card with another Allegedly. short notice. He said it. I failed the drug test. With well, another, he said we're gonna get us. We're gonna get us situated. I think he's gonna he be still fine. failed. I still think, failed. I think he's. I think. I think it was just a, a weird color. <laughs> like in the office, when his yeah. was green or whatever. She's like, I've and seen he, a lot. Of, she, you do you remember my pee? She's like, she's like, I've seen a lot of pee. He's like, mine was green. She was like, Oh, I do remember that. <laughs> and he's like so proud. He's like. <laughs> But anyway, Zalgas, we talked about him. He's a grinder. He's gonna. He doesn't have any real power per se, but he's gonna grind forward, throw big, look to wrestle. His goal is always to just throw those big looping punches as hard as he can, sort of get you to the cage or get you to react, and then shoot those takedowns. And he will chain wrestle. I've talked about this week in and week out, but if you haven't seen the last couple of breakdowns, the judges hate this guy. The judges absolutely hate this guy. He is one and four in his last five, but they're honestly. Most of those, all of them except one of those losses, are close decisions. Frankly, he was robbed in a few of them. He was the minus 1,200 favorite at the end of his fight against Charles Johnson, and he still lost that decision. So you're going to see one and four in his last five, but he's not getting blown out. He's coming forward. He's working hard. He's staying busy, and the judges just absolutely hate his style for some reason. But he has a new haircut, and we'll see what that does for him. Ow, Joshua, ow. Joshua oh, oh, oh. Van is a young kid. He is only 21 years old. He's making his UFC debut on short notice. He's a solid striker. He's aggressive. He's got a little bit of power. His takedown defense and scramble skills are, are okay in the tape that you see on the regional level, but I think he's going to struggle at the UFC level defending those takedowns. He's this new generation of fighter, so no specific background, right? It's all just MMA. He's putting it together well. He can grapple. He can strike. He does a nice job looking for things in scrambles. And I think that's actually going to help me out here because I do think Zalgas Umagulov is going to win this fight. I think these odds are correct. He should be a two-to-one favorite. He is a tried-and-true vet at this point. He's fought some of the better people in the division, put up a great fight. A lot of these should be wins. Somebody commented in the live chat that he should be 17-5 and five or 16-6, and six, and he should be. There's a couple of legitimate robberies in that record, and it's at the UFC level where Joshua Van, you know, anytime you get these young guys that have these sorts of records. You just don't know what they're going to be. But I think Zalgas Umagulov is going to come forward, get probably as many takedowns as he wants, and gets this done. I think the fact that Joshua Van does scramble looking for things is only going to help out the takedowns. And I have the over uh, takedown line on Zalgas in, I think, definitely in prize picks. I don't know if I have it in underdog. But I think he's going to get it done. So I'm all over Zalgas here. I'm not spending the money, though, because two to one odds on a on a guy that retired in his last fight's a little tricky, but what do you think, Jakey boy? Uh, if you grew facial hair, would it look like Zalgus's? That little Fu Man shoe? <laughs> Is that all you got? Be honest. Have you ever have you ever grown it out at all? Because it looks like what it would be. What are you doing? A, Stop that tapping thing. whatever you're tapping or shaking your leg. I can hear it all. I'm not tapping it's... anything. I'm just sitting here, man. You're shaking your leg. Um. He looks like Rob Schneider with his new haircut, honestly. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think that this is. I I, I like Van. He is a, a super super talented kid. Only twenty one years old. He was. I mean, he was an amateur two years ago, but he's is getting the experience. He's fighting a lot, and and he is improving. You can see that improvement because in past fights when he does lose, and unfortunately for this fight, 
he does get wrestled and he can get he can get out grappled, even controlled against the fence, which is exactly what Zalgas wants to do. So, you know, this is a pretty cut and dry uh breakdown for me. I think Van is a very talented guy. I'm glad he's getting opportunity. He's gonna be live at range at, you know, anytime there's a striking exchange, he's going to be live in this fight. But Zalgas has the experience, he knows how to get people against the cage, he knows how to make people fight the fight that he wants to fight. And I just don't think Van is dangerous enough in those kind of positions uh to upset, you know, some a, a guy with the experience of Zalgas. So I'm glad that Van is here. I think he is a prospect. I'm actually glad that his UFC debut is against a guy like Zalgas because it's probably just going to be kind of a boring decision and he's not going to be in there against a killer getting his head taken off at 21 years old that could really affect him for the, ref or the rest of his career. I think he's going to be able to beat some guys in this division. He's going to be around for a long, long time. I just think that this early in his career with the deficiencies I've seen in his grappling and his, his being able to be controlled against the cage just works perfectly for a guy like Zalgas. So I, I like Zalgas. I know Zalgas was against my lock of the week last week, but, you know, Styles make fights. This is a completely different fight, and I think this is a great one for Zalgas to get the job done. I think it's going to be boring. It's going to be slow, and um, it's probably going to come down to a decision, but <laughs> he should be able to get the decision this time, I think. I think he should. I mean, if he doesn't, well, I guess we'll see, right? Because who knows if it'll be close or not. But I, I think most people agree. That's what the, the line hasn't even moved. People haven't even seen the plus money like, ooh, let me jump on that. Just a touch more for Zalgas. And I think this is where it should be. He's a tried and true veteran in the UFC, has been there for years, and he's taken on a, a brand new super young. Minus UFC 200 now. Summer. Minus 200 now. Okay, so it's moving a little bit. Well, I considered I considered doing something with him, but I was like, eh, you know, let me just let me just leave it alone because he did retire. He lost to Charles Johnson. He retired out of frustration because he was like, if I if I can't win these decisions, like what the hell am I I'm doing? I'm taking here? my ball and going home. Yeah, and then he just cut his hair different, and now he's like all of a sudden super popular and super famous with a freaking haircut. It's absolutely wild. Um, That's why so I we're tell both you, on the same you side. That, I keep telling you. I, and I bought you that that plane ticket, Turkey, but you just won't go. Can't deal I with it. Won't go. Nine thousand dollars in DraftKings. I do think he's worth that money. What do you think? Should be a lot of takedowns. I mean, I think Van could yeah. even get back to his feet and, and kind of work those positions and just get taken down again. A lot of control. Um, if he doesn't get him, he's not going to score well because I think he can still hold him against the cage and stuff like that. But control if he doesn't get time. the takedowns, yeah. he's not going to score well. But I think he can get the takedowns. I think it's going to be an interesting uh, value play at nine, even at nine thousand. Yeah, I think you can get it done. I mean, he's just that much better. If you want to see all of our picks, bets, plays, take the DraftKings beginner course and see everything else. It's only $10 a month. We want picks.com. Just click become a member. It's freaking $10. What are we talking about here? Freaking $10. Yeah. What the chat is talking about is they all keep mentioning Kill Tony. And you're a big fan of Kill Tony. But real quick, one of our um, subscribers for a very long time was a fan, was on Kill Tony. He was a regular, right? The late, great Michael Lair. Yeah, he was a regular on Kill Tony. He was a fan of our show. It's just a f fun little... War a uh, We Want Picks headband on the show. Well, so the reason he did, he was... So he's a fan of the show. Watched everything we did. And, it, and he was a big DraftKings guy. And he would comment. He was just like very negative in the DraftKings comments. But he was around for a long time. So I was like, Michael, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to ban you. Like, this is absurd now. And he was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Never again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So then the next time he was on Kill Tony, he wore a We Want Picks headband, a We Want Picks shirt. He gave We Want Picks a shout out to the point where they were even like, did you get a sponsor? Like, what the <laughs> hell are you doing here? So... It was, uh, it was, uh, I wish cool. I, I literally wish I knew about, cause that's before I even knew what Kill Tony was. It wasn't until after, um, you told me about it and stuff. I started watching Kill Tony and I realized like who the fuck this guy was. Uh, I wish I would have watched it, uh, back in and saw that organically. It would have been crazy, but I'm a big Kill Tony fan now. The one last night was, it was fantastic. I haven't finished it yet, but it was the best one in a long time. Had your boy, uh, Jim Ross, Dave Attell as Gus. Uh, Dave Attell's great. He was good. Jim Ross, the wrestling guy? No, the, the uh, Jeff Ross. <laughs> Jeff Ross. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I said Jim Ross, too, I was like, mm, doesn't seem right. Jeff Ross, sorry. Yeah, there you go. That makes sense. 